Hi everyone, we are here with Cambodian filmmaker Devi Chow, whose film Golden Slumbers was just screened at the 15th Mumbai Film Festivals. Well, I, it's just when I heard the story that makes me feel very like surprised and moved and, and, and I really wanted to know more. At the very beginning, it's a personal story because like my grandfather was a big film producer in Cambodia. I never met him, but when I heard about his story, I wanted to know more and I started to make research. But even though he was not my grandfather, I think I would have made the film because, uh, because me being born in France, having access to all the heritage of him in France, when suddenly I... I heard that a country has lost all its films, all its popular films, all the actors and that the young people don't know about this very important film for the culture. Yeah, I think it's so brutal, so violent that I, I, I think, yeah, there was something to, to, to try to explore, which is the memories. I think it was very interesting to know if the film, even though they are destroyed, even though that we cannot find them, even though the people are dead, I want to know if the memories of the film still exist in, in, in today Cambodia. So, for me, it was a fascinating question. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if, if I really initiated it. I, actually, there is no film university in Cambodia. There is nothing. That's also why when I, I come the first time, I wanted just to meet young people. And, and it was not a school at all. It was just a workshop, just to exchange and to give a little of what I could know of filmmaking in, 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 back in France, to exchange with young people in Cambodia. And that's, yeah, how I met some of them, like including Kavich Ning, who is the other filmmaker from Cambodia who is showing his film at the festival where I go. So it was, it was very good for me just to connect with the young people, just try to help them. But after, I think that they also have many different experiences. Riti Pans himself gives some workshop in the country. There is other organizations helping, like the Cambodia Film Commission. So all these kind of film things made that today there is more and more people trying to make film. Maybe it comes also from the digital revolution, of course, that now people can have access to the camera and they can try to make films and stuff. And yeah, I hope that Golden Slumbers can contribute a little on the awareness of the heritage of film in Cambodia before and for the young people to think that if it happened 40 years ago, maybe today they can start doing something as their parents and their grandparents used to do uh, like, like in the past of their country. Mm. Uh, I want to mention something, yeah, because it's not, it's, uh, the, for me it's very symbolic to show the film in India, because actually in Cambodia there was a lot of Indian films showing, shown back then. And when I, I, I asked the people, because of course when the, during the one year preparation I asked them, all the old people, like, what film you used to like, can you tell me about Cambodian films? And they were always told me, but you know, I love also Indian films, because they, they screened a lot, a lot of Indian films in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s in Cambodia. There was even like big, very beautiful theaters. One theater named Soria, Cinema Soria, and it's just Indian films. And the people would, would go and it was always packed. So in what extent, for sure, even though the filmmakers that I found, they didn't tell me that directly, I'm sure that the Cambodian cinema that was created in the 60s was a little influenced by Indian films. And when you see the film, my, I mean my film, and when they tell about the story, you see that there is like, not dance, but like songs in the film with the actors singing the song, and there is a kind of romance, and it's kind of fantasy, and in, in what extent I think there is something that they, they took from, also from, from Indian cinema. So to show the film in India, it's, it's really cool. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, that was David Chow for you.